This culture is one of my ancestors. Huh. Well, so far it's nothing here that's cheering me up. Get over it, or die that way. Wow, you're just full of good stuff. He was so rough with you boys. I guess you can put away the gun, Dad. That horse can be handled. Not by me. I don't want any part of it. Neither do I. Then that makes it simple. I need a horse, so I'll take him. You're making a mistake, John. He's unpredictable and dangerous. As a cult, he was no good. Before we even had a chance to break him, he fought his way into the hills and turned completely wild. It took us two years to capture him. Only to find he was plum loco. Even his sire was violent and stubborn. Well, that's no reason to condemn him. That's not his fault. He didn't choose his father. Dad, you wouldn't punch me for something you did, would you? No. No, son, I wouldn't. I'll start breaking him tomorrow. Truth is... You don't really catch starlight. It tries to catch you. So you do a dance. You try and find a song you both can call your own. And when you get to write starlight, you see the world for the first time. Here, what I won't be able to see. The truth is, life is either a daring adventure or nothing. Keep your face toward the light, stay free, 
then even fate cannot take away your soul. Soon it became time for me to return a favor. I couldn't see anymore, but I knew you was there. Starlight, you're the best, was all I could think to say. We rode forever, through countless summer days, through endless cold nights. But this night was different. I don't know why. This was the last time together, at least in this world. <coughs> I like to think folks will see his light forever, so long as they seek their own truth. Sometimes you get, and sometimes you get God. If you don't understand that, then sell your saddle. My answer to that is, come on, Starlight. Let's go. Let's show. Let's rodeo. Mm.